welcome to Steve 87th, Puget Sound and Pacific Railroad. Hi everyone, this is Steve, Steve 87th, PSAP Railroad, or Puget Sound and Pacific. Um, this is my channel and I just wanted to invite you guys to, to come along and watch as I build my railroad, uh, build up some kits, do some uh, kit bashing, um, and running trains like the one behind me. So if this is what you guys like to watch, uh, stick around for a while and uh, see if you like the channel. All right, hey guys, this is Steve 87th. Today we're going to finish off putting all the panels onto the roof before we start a couple of very interesting projects. So stay tuned and let's get our roof finished for our shack. Now, what has happened? Well, my problem is that when this gets put up the way that it's going to be, where it's like this and then the roof is angled over. Okay, for some reason that doesn't want to stand up. This one does, but that one doesn't. I'll get it to stand. And then the roof comes like this. Let's move everybody a lot closer. Okay, so there's two things I got to do. I got to put all of the roof pieces on the roof. But the other thing, which is really kind of even more important, is that, kind of, oh, let me kind of show you the building that I'm working with. Again. Um, That's a pretty good inside shot. So this is kind of, whoops, let me come back here a little bit. This is kind of what the building looks like. I know it's kind of out of focus for you guys, I don't know why. But you see, it doesn't really have a floor. It's just dirt. So um, I have to be able to put the dirt floor in, but I ah, don't worry about those things. Um, I've already figured out how to make those. But I've got some other problems in that, you know, I've got to bank this all up. This has got to be sitting in there, and I've got to be able to put the roof on. And then there's interior things that I have to do in there, you know, with the weathering and stuff like that. So what I need to do... Sorry, lost kind of a video thing. So what I'm going to do is actually put the building onto a base so that I can then do the other operations. So you'll see what I came up with. All right, well, I'm not gonna get the video back for you guys. So what I did was, is I came in here and I did some more weathering on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that. But then I had to glue this down to the base. Now, the roof is not glued in yet. I'm just, the roof is just there to make sure that I have the spacing correct. But I needed to get in here and put this on a base. So I've got a plastic base, which is a no trespassing sign that this is being glued to. Now what's gonna happen is after this glue sets, and these are nice and strong, so this is gonna be sitting here for a little while, um, I'm gonna go ahead and then use um, the, yeah, what is it? I've gotta come in here with like the plasters and things like that, the sculpt mold and then actually mold this out and then around on the sides. So I've got a lot of work to do on that, but this building has to be intact for me to be able to do it because it doesn't sit on a regular floor and all of that details in there. And you can see how long this building is. I can't get my hands in there to do the work that I need to. So the roof is still removable. Um, and I'll go ahead and build up all the sculpt mold around this. And then once that sculpt mold is set up and all that kind of stuff, then I can finish doing a bunch of other work in here. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. And uh, so now that's all just going to dry and we'll come back to it again later. Okay, so here we are a little bit later in the same day. And we have got the guy glued up. So you can see it's freestanding now. 
and I can get in there because the roof is off. So while I have all of this going on and things are out of the way, I think all of you guys watch me put a roof on. So the good thing is, is that I've got all of my roof pieces here. They're all aluminum cutout pieces. Now the big thing to do is get the glue on to all of these rafters and then make the rafters work. So this is gonna be fun. These are all cut to much like the two, but much like the plywood, they're all cut into um, eight foot pieces. So now I gotta remember that the roof is going that way. So that side's gonna have the biggest overhang. And I gotta figure out the best way to put on the glue. So now, remember with a real roof, you usually are going to um, start at the center, so on, um, or start at the bottom and work your way up. So you gotta do the same thing here. Now I'm using the Eileen's Tacky Glue again. I'm beginning to like that a lot more than everything else. I'll lay these down. I'll make sure that I get some overlay. And now of course, yeah, that's gonna be just right at the edge. Okay, so we're going to move that back just a little bit. We're going to make those. So the good thing is this is supposed to be 12 foot wide. And since there's two 8 foot pieces, that gives me 16 feet to come across. So that does just make it two pieces, which is nice. Just a little bit of overlap, there we go. Now again, I have no idea how well this is gonna work. How much glue I'm really gonna use. But it doesn't matter what I'm talking, because You know what, as a matter of fact, I showed you how I put down the first one. We're gonna go ahead and go to time lapse. Okay, so here I am just applying glue and all of the roof panels. Now, sorry about the angles that I got with this. I was just trying to get this done, but you could see as I was putting it on, the roof angles were crinkling up, so I needed to put some weight on it to weight them down. Okay, so I got those all finished, turned it over, and then this was kind of the best picture that I got because I forgot to take a photo of the completed roof. So thanks for joining everybody and I um, hope this was enjoyable and now the roof is on and now we're gonna move on to a couple of more projects on this shack build. Thanks for watching, this is Steve87.